There are moments in your life when you realize that everything in your world is about to change. Chris was an EMT interviewing to become a firefighter, and then just days before his 30th birthday, Chris was diagnosed with ALS. His fiance Taylor wrote me this letter. Dear Ellen, my fiance Chris and I love you and watch your show together every day. We see incredible stories of people who are truly making the best of the diff of difficult hands they were dealt, and I think about how Chris shares those same qualities of determination, strength, positivity, and acceptance. He's always helped others and continues to look for ways to overcome his terminal disease to keep helping those in need. He's selfless, caring, and always has a smile on his face. If there's any chance you could meet Chris, you'd see just how amazing he is. Love, Taylor. From Lakewood, California, please welcome Chris and Taylor. Hi, Ellen. Hi, you two. Um, wow. Well, I'm glad I'm getting to meet both of you. Uh, you've been together for three years now. How did you both meet? So we met on Bumble in August of 2017, and I took her on a nice day, and we hit it. We hit it off, and I eventually asked well on a piece of paper. I was like, do one with my girlfriend. I give her yes, no, and the maybe box them. Well, he asked me out on a post it, and it stuck. So <laughs> we've been together ever since. Three years. And Three years. so, Chris, uh, when, when did you first realize you had ALS? How'd you find out? So we've been dating for about a year, and I found out at the doctor's a few weeks before my 30th birthday. So it was kind of a crazy time when I went through all the emotions. I went finding out you have a terminal disease at such a young age. Yeah. Taylor, what, what goes through your head when, when you heard this about Chris? Um, imagine the love of your life comes to you and says he might have only two years left to live. Um, it was heartbreaking. It was extremely difficult. Um, I can put myself back in that room whenever I think about it because it was it was a it was the biggest moment in my life. Um, we cried for days. I cried. He cried. Um, we talked about what we thought our future would be growing old together. And then we sat down and had a real talk about what the reality of our future was with the diagnosis and um, that we wanted to be together and help each other through it. Well, I mean, I know, Chris, uh, you were saying that you wanted to marry Taylor, uh, and you knew that just a year into the relationship. And as, as, as Taylor said, you know, you were the love of, of her life. You all knew that, obviously, right away. But you gave her an out. I mean, you're... You, you said you can leave. Yeah, so there's so much heartache and trials and tribulations that come forward with ALS. And I want to tell her, I love you so much, but this is not going to be easy at all. I want her to be happy and live her life to the fullest because I loved her so much. So. I said she could leave and I would never ever feel bad or hold that against her because I, I can't. So Taylor, you obviously said, nope, I'm in it. I'm in it for the long haul. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chris is so happy, so positive. I had loved him for over a year before the diagnosis, and that alone gave me reason to want to stick around and share his journey with the rest of the world and his positivity to bring out the best in everyone that we come across. And uh, ultimately, uh, share that story with you. Thank you so much for having us to be able to share this again. Yeah, we need to we need to find a cure for this disease. It's um this is this is um something that everybody needs to start really focusing on. It's uh it's a very cruel disease and and you certainly um 
Don't deserve that. Um, we're going to take a break, and we're going to talk more with the two of you after this. We'll be right back with Chris and Taylor. Chris is always giving back to the community. He volunteers at a homeless shelter for kids. You were an M EMT, and you were about to become a firefighter. Um, you, you love giving back, and why is that? I mean, I, I, this is a question, that I think, just for other people to hear why it's so important, but why is it important for you to give back? I think the big reason for me is because I've been so fortunate and have had an amazing 32 years of life. Well, I've decided in my soul to always care about everyone around me. I just want everyone out to accept this man. You're incredible. Our friends at Shutterfly want to give back to you and Taylor, and uh, you know Jeannie, who works here, right? Yes. She dropped something me. off at your house earlier. Taylor, maybe you want to grab it and bring it back inside? Okay. <laughs> Run! <laughs> it's so Are shiny. Come on over. All right. We know that your house needs renovations and to be more accessible for Chris. So Shutterfly loves helping positive people with inspiring stories. They want to give you both $50,000. Oh my gosh, thank you. You both are incredible and we will keep in touch with both of you.